Hi, everyone. Today I have an author. I have a software professional, a seasoned software professional, a speaker turned author. So he has a master's in science and information technology, science degree in information technology. He's worked for 25 years in several IT companies in senior positions as well in IT multinational companies. And he's, he has even written IBM Red Book. How many, how many of you are from software industry? Okay. So if you have read any IBM Red Book, so he's one of, he's written one of the IBM Red Books and he's, he's a speaker also in uh, world's largest technical user conference. He has spoken there and uh, he has his own IT firm as well now. So uh, let me welcome John Cherian here. Let me welcome. Hi, John. And please unmute yourself. Okay. Hi, Shweta. Hi, all. Nice to meet you all. Hi, and welcome to uh, this session, the, your success story session. So Thank share you. a little bit about you, John. I've shared a little bit. Of, yeah, actually, can yeah add actually more. You, have, you have shared uh, pretty much uh, what, I, what I wanted to share. So, but I'll, I'll just give you, you know, Recap that, you know, as well as said, I worked in the IT industry for uh, almost now three decades and um, held various senior positions. And um, I was lucky to be selected as a, as a writer, an author for uh, IBM Red Book based on some uh, tests that we conducted. And I also published many other books also, which is in local language, Malayalam. And uh, then there, from there, I got an opportunity to become a, a speaker in the world's largest user for, for common conference across uh, in UK, UK, UK and multiple countries, uh, US and multiple other countries. So recently, uh, I started a small IT firm in Trivandrum, Kerala, which is named uh, Logic in Field Solutions. We do IT projects in a cost-effective manner. And uh, for the last 22 years, I've been helping professionals. I'll tell you what, why I actually got into it later. I've been helping professionals to improve their performance in their career and as well as life. So that experience made me, right? So I'll tell you why, why I got into it. See, uh, during my stint in multiple companies as IT manager and IT head, I came across so many situations which... Um, many people were finding it very difficult to move from one area of work to another area of work, right? Say, for example, you know, in, uh, in the IT, for example, in our IT area, uh, there were times when uh, people were working in uh, mainframes and uh, mid-range systems. And uh, beyond 2000, a lot of people were forced to move to new, age, new era technologies, where many people were finding, you know, falling short there, and then they were, uh, they were about to lose jobs. Then I started feeling that, you know, something is there right which uh, stops them in unlearning something and relearning something because the earlier ones were closed systems and the new ones were open systems so moving from closed systems to open systems you know, they were finding it very difficult and also they were thinking that you know someone is exploiting them to by moving them to from one area to another so this you know they and just because you know after observing all this and i started thinking that my should help these people to Recoup. And I was able to you know, successfully recoup and then uh, get into the new technologies. So I started doing that. That is how I got into this counseling and, um, you know, uh, guidance, career guidance area. And uh, later, after thinking about more about it and interacting with more people, I realized that the same scenario is there everywhere in all industries, you know, in one or other form. And I realized that it's not about industries, it's all about people. And people, how they perceive uh, situations and how they react to situations is what, you know, makes one uh, perform, underperform or, you know, go low in their performance. So I slowly started working towards it, did the research for almost uh, 10 years and came up with a framework that can help people uh, in identifying where they fall short, right? What do they don't know and what should they know by going back to their basic innocent state in that particular area or that particular subject. So that, you know, uh, when I discuss with multiple people, they all st are started asking me, why don't you write a book about it? So if you write a book about it, you go to more people and then people can read and understand. Probably you can give sessions later to 
you know, more explain uh, more about. So that led to the book idea. And uh, but it took a long time, you know. Actually, I, even after I formed the concept, I formed the framework. I had to wait for almost ten years to try try it out in multiple places, multiple companies, multiple sessions. And then I got feedbacks. I changed it again, and I, I changed the questions. Like thousand five hundred, two thousand questions were there initially. Then the whole questions were changed, and then a lot of iterations were there. And then finally, I thought of started writing. And uh, my actual writing started eight years before, and slowly. You know, uh, wrote snippets of it and then kept it in my diaries. And then came into the idea of publishing it. When I realized that I reached a stage where I can go to the world and tell that hey, this is a new concept, uh, just try it out. So then I thought of going to a publisher. I considered many publishers, realized that is not going to work. I'll tell you why later. And then, fortunately, luckily, I found. This person Swera Samota, and that changed it. And believe me, all of the writing snippets were there already. But my problem was, you know, I was not able to make it a book, right? Though I published books earlier, it was all published through publishers. They did some, you know, I gave the content. Uh, they did something and got the book published. But here I'm doing it all alone. So how do I do it? I did not know. I had no idea. Then I. Decided to join India Authors Academy in one month time. My book was ready. Basic first book was ready in one month time. Then it took a lot of time to do the uh, you know, self editing and then maybe another another round of editing. But I had to wait for a long time for the forwards because I went to some uh, very famous people uh, locally and also in USA. Um, he, uh, this is uh, the local person is uh, uh, Professor Govindan Mudugar. He is a UNICEF celebrity advocate. So you can imagine how busy schedule he has, and uh, I had to wait for months altogether. But he said, yeah, "One day I'll write it. One day I'll give you." But you wait, you wait. Let me get some time, and then I had to wait for months to get his uh, forward. And one more forward is I'll say much more, you know, busy a person uh, in USA. It's a motiv motivational speaker, in inspirer, uh, a very uh, interesting personality. He wants his 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 speech wants stop the traffic in front of uh, you know. White House, is what I heard. So he also gave a very beautiful forward for my book, and that energized me. And uh, finally, finally, after all the wait, uh, the book got released over Amazon. And it was actually published, but you know the actual release. You know, it went to public a uh, couple of weeks back. I'm very proud about about what Amazing. happened. Amazing. Amazing. Thank you for getting me to publish it over Amazon. But Round of applause for John. Thank you. So, tell us about the title about your title of your book. Let me quickly share my screen. So, yeah. So this is. Uh, can you all see it? Yes. So this is uh, John's book. Who bought your silent dreams? Surpassing exploitations innovatively. And uh, everyone who is watching this video, please support John because. Uh, for an author, the best way to support is buying their book and leaving them a good review. So go ahead, read this book, Who Bought Your Silent Dreams, and uh, leave a review. It's already got a lot of good reviews. And uh, yes, over to you, John. Tell us more about this book. Okay. So about this book, I've already told, you know, my um, passion, right? One, I would say one of my passions uh, is to help people who wish to improve their performance in career and life. I said, you know, it's not about improving uh, performance in career, right? Later I found that it's all about life. A person's perspective is what needs to be changed. So for that, I uh, met so many people. I, could, I would say not less than 10,000 people. Um, and uh, and they are, many of them feel exploited. Even when, even when we, we see people appear or present themselves as, as people who are content, but inside they feel they have some silent dreams which are not ever pursued by themselves or anybody else. So how to get into that? So for that, I have actually developed a frame, framework uh, to identify one's passion. Probably I, I have four parameters for it. At a personal level, four Ps, I, will, I call it as four Ps. One is a personal level, what are our personal negatives and positives. And then professional level. When you get into work, where to get to work, what is the 
what are the advantages or the plus and minuses that we have if you are able to identify so for that we need to have so many questions i said you know there's a question bank which need to be customized for person to person from person to person and the third p is purpose right you are personally good or bad whatever your thoughts are or professionally good or bad your thoughts are what is your life's purpose we need to know that how do you define your life's purpose sometimes you will say and i want to become a doctor i want to be an engineer i want to become an it engineer i want to travel across the world so many so many things that we will say but is that what actually our inner mind our innocent mind our child in us need how do we find that so there is a way to find out and then that lead that, that form that drive passion is what we need to pursue that passion if you pursue our life will be fulfilled we'll be happy will be it will become beautiful irrespective of whether we have uh, abundance of money power anything so for example in my case i was in us and i returned from my father to take care of my father you know, unfortunately suddenly he has passed but even now i'm deciding to stay here because you know making money is not my my cup of tea it's what i need money and that will come for me to live but doing these kind of things gives me some pleasure it actually satisfies my inner child that is what i'm doing so this is what the purpose of the book is to to reach out to people who want to find out their inner child and then grow from there beautiful okay how many of you can uh, you know uh, relate to whatever john just said okay you can you know just do a round of applause for john or you know in spoken word we do like this so thank you for sharing that what whenever we feel good we do this in spoken word i don't know how many of you know this but uh, thank you for sharing that so uh, to uh, explore to get to your inner child and work from there uh, and i believe that this is for uh, the professionals or anyone can read this book anyone anyone that is what i'm saying you know it is professionals when they get into the profession they are actually human beings their thoughts work how do they see their profession Right? right in their profession some of the people are actually feeling suffocated in the profession yes. why it is not their passion right so there is no way to change the jobs but somewhere you can actually if you can find the job uh, which is actually going in parallel with your passion is well and good those are really lucky people but there is only very few people doing uh, like that but rest of the people can find some time maybe an hour a day to do what you need to mm-hmm. what your what your inner child needs so that's what the book is all about so anyone can read it anyone Amazing. who felt exploited i'm sure that you know no one in this world who is about 21 uh, would have somewhere somehow felt that exploited feeling yeah. somewhere in that life so who are felt exploited can actually read the book and find some more, some more inspiring uh, get some more inspiring thoughts so i've pasted the link in the comments and uh, if you're watching this on youtube uh, you should find the link here to uh, john's book now uh, tell us you know uh, john from your experience as an author what has been the most challenging part Absolutely. from writing to publishing which one which part was the most challenging for you uh i told you i was already to mentioned about it you know editing i had written and published some books i am with sir the content part and you know, i whatever comes to my mind i just wrote and the content was shared to publishers and they just published it and they did some magic i don't know what it is whatever i've written the subject is there everything is there but the editor has done something which some somewhere the meanings also have changed but here and this time i told you already i did not go to publishers yeah. because uh, you know the huge cost in 8 lakhs 10 lakhs uh, initial cost and probably the money might come back but it's not about it you know it's about if you do it yourself it is the best thing to do without spending that much money right so that is why i uh, uh, jo- decided to join uh, indian authors academy and then uh, like it's very simple you know life is become very simple and uh, every day we are getting you know tips and techniques i do that editing and self editing is something which is really difficult something you have written you know <laughs> you think that that's the best text is already come uh, you know but going back to it again and again and uh, i have done actually three rounds of self editing and the initial the first uh, version draft and the last draft that i shared with an external editor to see the concept is there but the book is totally changed yes. so that's how it is so now some people who have read the book are saying that john it has become like a thriller a lot of stories have added 
so i am i'm very happy to hear that so that's a real challenge in time for helping me to you know, to uh, publish it amazon or what i had a lot of technical troubles and i i clip you know to be to all here i'm telling you all the people who are in the academy let me tell you i used to trouble swear that i can away not at all i said well that she is getting uh, irritated in some no no no, 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 no the question but somewhere you know see if she will find some uh, right solution and uh, so yes you know i don't need talk to kdp i don't need to do that i don't need to do that and one more uh, happy thing is that the book has gone to 39 universities across the world oh my god KDBS, wow kdps yeah kdps an option like that and uh, they said you know they will uh, have i'll have only lesser royalty that's fine fine let it go so let more people know about it fantastic yeah, fantastic yeah. so round of applause for john thank you john for you know uh, sharing your journey with all of us and i'm sure people are inspired from your journey thank you and best wishes to you thank you thank you